Hej och Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lindsay and I bring you content on all things clean beauty and skincare. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about all about my hair, my hair care routine, my favorite styling tools, basically anything having to do with hair I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Get a ton of questions about how I style my hair and what my favorite hair care products are, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna start with my favorite products and then I'm gonna move on to sort of how I style my hair and the styling tools I like to use. So I'm gonna start off in the shampoo and conditioner category. I'm gonna work in like the way I would use the products. So I have a couple different ones that I really enjoy. First off is this Ursa Major Shampoo and Conditioner Duo. These are the Go Easy Daily Shampoo and Daily Conditioner with jojoba and sandalwood. I think these are fairly new to the Ursa Major line. I think they just came out. These are great options if you want like a really good everyday type of shampoo and conditioner. I did go through the conditioner really quickly. I still have some of the shampoo though. I really enjoyed it. It has a really nice sort of light citrusy scent. If you use like any Ursa Major products, you know they're just like a really light but unisex scent. So like your boyfriend can use these too. It's not like too feminine of a scent if that even exists. But <laughs> yeah, they're really nice. They don't weigh my hair down. I do have to be sure to rinse out the conditioner with anything. Basically, I have to make sure I rinse it out. Yeah, I think these are a really great duo. They do give me a lot of volume and make my hair pretty shiny. And I think these are a great option. Ursa Major makes some great products. So yeah, that was my first pick for shampoo and conditioner. I really enjoy these ones. Next up are probably my favorite shampoo and conditioner duo. These are from Evolve. They sell these on Pettivore. They also sell the Ursa Major ones on Pettivore. I will have everything linked I talked about in this video below. But um, this is their Ultra Shine Moisture Conditioner and then the Ultra Shine Conditioner. They also have a volume version of this and then they also have one for curls. I think they might even have another version of it. But yeah, Evolve is a great freaking hair care brand. I love them so much. These are vegan, cruelty-free, of course, and they have a really nice, minimal, but high-quality ingredient list. This says it has seaweed extract, essential amino acids to leave your hair strong, silky, and naturally shiny. I definitely agree. This makes my hair super shiny. doesn't weigh it down at all. Um, I only need like the tiniest bit of this shampoo, that's why it looks like I barely used any because I really only use it on my scalp and then whatever is left rinses down. And then the conditioner, so they did send these for me to try, I have tried their brand before on my own, but um, in the email, I forgot her name, but she told me for the conditioner, you only need to use a little bit and it kind of feels like you're not putting anything in your hair because it's like... I don't even know how to describe it. It just doesn't feel like you're putting anything in your hair, but it's doing a really good job at like sinking into your hair. So basically I like to put this in and then leave it in until I'm ready to get out of the shower to let all the nutrients sink into my hair. Like I said before, you do only need a little bit. It feels like it's not gonna cover your hair, but it really is. It's just not like a traditional shampoo and conditioner type of feel. But yeah, anyway, these are definitely a really great option. If you're looking for a shampoo and conditioner, I would start with these. I think they also sell the travel sizes on Pettivore. So if you're not sure that you're gonna like them or if you wanted to try out like the different lines, that's a really great option. I will link those below. These are also like pretty big sizes. I mean, they don't look that big cause they are in a more like smaller bottle instead of a tall bottle, but they're 8.5 fluid ounces in both of these. So for me, I usually have to use a lot of conditioner, but with this one, I only need a little bit. So these last me pretty long. I've had them for a while now and it looks like I barely use them. So that's great, great value for the money. Definitely check these ones out. The last in-shower product I wanted to mention is something, oh my gosh, I love this mask so much. It has my heart. It's from Brio Gio. It's their Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. You guys have probably heard of this. It's like a really popular hair mask. It won like one of those Allure Beauty awards whatever they're called i do have really long hair i know you guys can't like see it all on camera but when i want a deep conditioner like i don't want to have to use a ton of product to get a lot of results out of it and this one is like the answer to my freaking hair prayers it's so good i don't know if you can see the texture of it it's sort of just like a light cream it does have a nice i think they have fragrance in here i'm not sure but Brio Duo is six free, which means there's no SLL 
SLS, SLES, no parabens, no silicones, no phthalates, no artificial dyes, and no DEA. So pretty good ingredients. I believe all their stuff is cruelty-free and vegan as well. I think this mask is pretty pricey, but I just keep getting it because my hair is literally not the same without it. This is eight ounces. If you have fine hair or kind of just like feel like your hair gets limp easily, this is perfect for a deep conditioning mask because it literally gives my hair volume but also nourishes it like no other product I've ever used. I don't think I'll ever be without this again. I use this pretty often. I don't wash my hair every day, but when I do wash my hair, I do usually use this, so probably a couple times a week. I like to focus most of it on my ends because that's the most damaged part of my hair. And then I'll work it up. I find that I can even put it all the way up to my roots and it rinses out fine. It doesn't leave any sort of heaviness or leave my hair feeling flat. Like I said, it adds a ton of volume. So really can't get enough of this mask and I love it. Now onto the products I like to use after the shower. This has been one of my favorite products for the longest time. This is also from Evolve. It's their Smart Volume Leave-In Conditioner. I used to have the, it's either like Ultra Shine or just like the original one. It comes in the blue bottle. I had that and I used all of it that I picked up on my own and then they sent me this one which I'm so happy they did because I totally miss this in my hair care routine. It's just the perfect thing. I have, like I said, long hair. I keep saying that but it gets tangled super easily as well especially towards like the back of my neck. So when I get out of the shower I really do like a generous coat of this. This is also 8.5 fluid ounces which has lasted me a long time. I use a ton of this. Like when I, got it, when I get out of the shower on damp hair and you could also use it on dry hair. Basically if I haven't washed my hair in a couple days this is perfect just to like refresh it. And this is, mm, I just love it so much. It has a nice light citrusy scent. This is also perfect if your hair gets weighed down easily and you want a leave-in conditioner because this does not weigh down my hair at all. It's basically like a water consistency just shake it up so it's really lightweight doesn't weigh your hair down doesn't leave it greasy it's the perfect treatment you could use it over and over and it doesn't cause like any sort of residue or build up on your hair so this is definitely one of my favorite products and that totally like changes my hair game love this product now on to voluminizing sprays um, my hair is naturally straight and it does get limp pretty easily so I like to have a voluminizing spray in my hair care routine. My two favorite are the Josh Rosebrook Lift Hair Voluminizing Spray. This one's awesome. It comes with a really nice like spray to it. Classic Josh Rosebrook ingredient list. I love his skincare. I love his hair care. This is awesome. Great option. I just like spray this at my roots before I blow dry. I also do this on dry hair. I think it's nice. It gives you a nice like grip to your hair. So it kind of like holds the volume better. Really nice product. And then my other favorite, which is almost empty here. It's the Brio Geo Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin Voluminizing Spray. Again, another product from Brio Geo I really like. This one, I don't know. I feel like I like the Josh Rosebrook one a little bit better. This does give me some volume. It's not as good as giving me volume as like the Evolve spray or the Josh Rosebrook spray. But this one is a really nice option as well. Has a good spray around it as well. I just shake it up and like spray it on my roots. I can also spray this through my ends and it doesn't get crunchy or anything weird like that. So I think these are both great options if you're looking for a voluminizing spray. These are good. Lastly, I want to talk about like hair styling products and things I use to style my hair. That's basically the same thing I said twice. Now onto products I like to use for styling my hair. This is the Evolve Total Control Styling Cream Volume Edition. It looks like I barely used any of this, but it's because you need the smallest amount, literally like a pea sized amount. I like to use this on damp hair and then focus it on my roots and then bring it down and if you blow dry your hair or if you even let it air dry I feel like it's really good at adding volume to your hair not crunchy at all that's why I love Evolve like none of their products leave you with any sort of like residue or crunchiness it's just a really nice like fresh line you can use without getting any sort of buildup on your scalp so this is an amazing option this comes with a ton of products same as the shampoo and conditioner 8.5 fluid ounces I feel like it's literally going to take me forever to go through this but I love this and they also have this in the other lines that they carry so for curly hair and then they have the shine version as well so yeah this one is a beautiful little styling cream oh another thing i like to use this for is after i style my hair i use a little bit of this and then run it through my ends and it does a great job at sort of smoothing out the split ends it doesn't really repair them but it smooths it out and makes them like a little less obvious so that's another great use for this all right guys i have two more products here to show you both of them are also styling products 
First is the Josh Rosebrook Hairspray Firm Hold. By far the best clean hairspray I've ever tried. Totally worth the money. Doesn't leave your hair crunchy at all. You do have to hold it like pretty far away or else it can like really stick to one spot. But just do that and you'll be set to go. I usually do curl my hair, which is ironic because my hair is straight in this video. My hair is naturally straight. I don't know if I mentioned that. Probably like a medium texture. It's not too thick or too thin, but it does get sort of limp easily because it's naturally straight. So this one's great. I can use this on basically any way I style my hair. This is a great one. And then the last product I want to talk about is another one from Briogeo. This is their Scalp Revival Charcoal and Biotin Dry Shampoo. This is a non-aerosol dry shampoo. So you kind of just like open the little nozzle here, make sure you shake it up, and then you just like puff it onto your hair. I really like having a non-aerosol option for dry shampoo. I know that um, Kaya Naturals also makes one that has like a tint to it. I haven't tried that one, but if you guys have tried it, let me know down below what you think of it. I've seen it on Pettivore a couple times and have been really tempted to pick it up. So if you guys have tried it, let me know what you think. This does have fragrance in it, which for me isn't too overpowering, but if you prefer one that doesn't have any fragrance, I would go with the Kaya Naturals one. But I do enjoy this one and this is perfect for when your hair gets greasy and you don't want to wash it. Like, I feel like everyone needs some dry shampoo from time to time. Also, my bangs, this is kind of weird, but when I use my skincare and stuff, usually it transfers onto my bangs and they get like greasy easier than the rest of my hair. It might be also just because they're like thinner and shorter. I don't know, but they get really greasy. So this is like the perfect little touch up. If I don't feel like washing all my hair, I could just like, I usually cover my eyes just for, you know, Haha's just like spray it on my bangs. You let this sit for like a couple minutes until you see it's absorbed and then zhuzh it through in fresh, clean, good to go, nice dry shampoo. All right, those were all of the products I had to talk about. I'm like out of breath. I've been talking for 20 minutes, but I wanted to share with you the brush I use as well. This, some random brand, this is Urban Spot. I think I got this at TJ Maxx. But this is just a wooden bristle brush. I don't know why, but I like these a lot better than like plastic bristled brushes for my hair. I feel like it just gets knots out a lot easier and also a ton better for the environment. So um, I definitely recommend a wooden brush. They sell some on Pettivora along with combs that I've seen. If you want to invest in a good quality one, I will link those below. And I'll try to find some on Amazon as well because I'm sure they have a ton like this. Yeah, this is just like a good medium sized one. And yeah, let me go ahead and get into the styling tools I use and how I style my hair. All the styling tools I own currently are from Amika. I am like an affiliate with them. So I have a code, I believe it's DIRT10 and you get 10% off your entire Amika order. Their hair tools are on the pricey side, but I think they're worth it because they're like the best tools I've ever tried. I didn't really like have any like higher end tools until I got these ones. So I'm really impressed with how they performed. The first tool I have is their I think this is their Armory Collection hair dryer. I'll have it linked below. I had the box, but I ended up throwing it out. I don't blow dry like my whole head most of the time because I have longer hair. It takes forever and honestly, I just don't want the heat damage. But how I style my bangs, I will go over now because this is where this bad boy comes in. So when I first got bangs, like I didn't realize that you had to style them while they were like wet or else they dried weird. So I had like, oh my God, I'm like losing my voice. Ugh. Back. I'm revived. <clears throat> As I was saying, when I first got bangs, I didn't realize that you had to style them while they're wet or else they dry weird. So I had like for weeks just had like weird bangs and I was like, how do people get their bangs to look good? Like mine just looked so flat and weird all the time. So what I did was I Googled how to style bangs and I learned that you, if you style them while they're wet and dry them, they will stay like that instead of just letting them air dry and they dry all weird. <laughs> so lesson learned, that is what I use this hair dryer for. I usually use it on the cool setting just because it's like short hair so it takes like no time to dry and it just reduces the amount of damage. So I have like two different ways of styling my bangs. If I'm doing like drying my hair in the morning, I will use a super tiny round brush and then I basically just take them like this and like round brush them and then just blow dry them down and then that's how you get that sort of like curve to the bang and then the second way of styling them which is how they are styled now 
is of course I blow dry them, but if I do it at night, I do like blow them left, blow them right, and then <laughs> that sounds wrong. Blow the hair to the right, blow the hair to the left, and then blow it down and kind of just repeat that. And what that does, it just like moves them around so it makes them really full looking. And then also, of course, blow drying them and not letting them air dry makes the style stay. And then the next morning when I get up to style my hair, I take a flat iron and then, so I clamp these front pieces. I have an Amica straightener too. I don't have it out to show you guys because I have another straightening product, but I do use that straightener for my bangs. It'd also be really handy if you got a mini one to use, but I just have a regular size one. But anyway, I clamp them like that and then I just straighten them. And then when I get to the end, I kind of just like turn the straightener down and then I just fluff them out. And then that's what gives them sort of like that curve to them. Sometimes if they look weird, I'll like straighten the edges of them. But generally that is how I style my bangs. Most of the time it is with the straightener because if I do the round brush at night, it just doesn't stay overnight. But if you're doing it in the morning, you could do that. It's a really like gorgeous option to get your bangs like full and fluffy looking. So yeah, that is how I style my bangs. Let me get into the other hair tools I wanted to talk about. The last tool I have to talk about is what I use to straighten my hair. I know I have straight hair, but like I said, when I don't blow dry it, it's not perfectly straight like this. It does have like a little bit of kinks to it or a little bit of wave. It's not perfectly straight. So what I like to do is use this Amica. This is their new version of their straightening brush. It's the Polish Perfection Straightening Brush 2.0 with iRed Technology, which is basically a negative ion generator that sort of prevents damage in your hair, which I think is great. This brush I think is totally worth it. If you straighten your hair a lot and don't like having flat hair or you just want something really quick and easy, this is just like the best hair tool. I think it's so worth the money. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Comes in a satin pouch like this. And then this is what it looks like. So what you do is just run this through your hair just like you would a normal brush. And it straightens it out but it doesn't leave your hair looking flat like a straightener does. It gives you a ton of volume and I think this is a great tool. Yeah. One more thing I almost forgot to mention, I had a couple of questions about this, is like, is my hair colored? And no, this is all my natural color. The only part of my hair that is colored are my ends here because I did have like bleach blonde hair and this is what's left. I've been growing it out, but all of this is my natural color. It's a dirty blonde color, you could say. It's not really that light. Um, it's specifically darker like under here. Um, in the summer it was a little lighter because my hair does get bleached by the sun as well But yeah, so this is like the only colored part of my hair and the most damaged part as well because it's been through a lot of bleaching All right guys, that was a long video, but you made it through it. Thank you guys so much for watching If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you and if you're not already Please do. I would love for you to join me. Give this video a like and comment below if you enjoyed it I love to interact with you guys. So if you have any other questions about my hair, how I style it, anything, drop it below. I'll make sure to answer you. So thank you again for watching and I will see you guys next time.